Hey, today we're talking about how to play a tremolo on a four string banjo. Uh, so this is one of the most requested um, things that students ask me how to play. Um, and the tremolo adds, adds the effect of giving sustain to a note on, on, on an instrument. And banjo or an instrument like the mandolin has such a short duration of the note that it's um, using a tremolo can, is often employed to give that effect of sustain when you have a longer note, such as a whole, whole note or something. Um, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna to start learning how to play this. We're gonna, you can do it either on one string, or you could do it like a chord. Today we're going to look at doing it as a chord. So we're going to play an F chord. We're playing a tenor banjo. If you're playing a plectrum banjo or or any instrument, if you're playing a banjo uke, um, just make an F chord. Right now I'm making an F chord on the tenor using the uh, on the fourth string. I'm going the fifth fret, the fifth fret, then the seventh fret on the second string with my ring finger, and the uh, eighth fret on the first string with my pinky. So we want to definitely have a metronome because we need to keep the time very consistent, especially when we're practicing. And um, it's hard to see the numbers on this metronome, but I think it's right around 68 beats per minute. Um, so here we go. I'm just going to set it. And what we're going to do, we have our flat pick here, and we're just going to practice first, just get the rhythm of, of uh, a, a feel of the beat. And we're just going to go down on each click. Strum down. Okay. Now we're going to go down, up. So we're going to go twice as fast. We're going to go down, up, down, up, down, up with each click. So it down, up. Okay, so our click is on a quarter note, so we're first playing quarter notes, then we went down up, we're playing eighth notes, which are twice as fast. Again, the eighth notes are three, four. Okay, now we're going to try to do that. Let's try to do triplets now. So it's going to be three notes for each click. So it's going to be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. We're going to go down, up, down. We're going to keep the down, up. Um, I'm, I'm doing down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, I think right now. But we can also do down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So here's down, up, down. Now let's practice going just straight down, using straight down up. So it'll be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. which we just did is what I would suggest for practicing into the tremolo because what we're we're essentially doing the tremolo we're just we're just strumming down up fast right now we're just building in making sure we're playing right on right in time at the slowest stages we're building that up up to kind of a tremolo speed when we're up doing more 16th notes or even up to 32nd notes so that was eighth note triplets. Um, now we're going to do sixteenth notes. So we had the eighth notes, which are which is a which is a two strums, a down and an up for each click. 
So 16th notes, you're going to have four strums, down, up, and then down, up for each clay. So it'll be down, up, 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 down, up. Here we go. Three, four. Okay, so important thing to think as we get into these faster um, strums is we really want to be focusing on using our wrist. I'm not using I'm not using my arm to do this. I'm not. It's not a stiff wrist and a lot of arm. This like this. It's a. It's a fairly. It's mostly in the wrist. A little bit of the arm, but mostly in the wrist. Another thing to keep into consideration is you're going to kind of have to have a loose pick feel. Um, you don't want to drop the pick or let the pick slide around, but it, as you're playing faster, because the strings are pretty tight, especially in the tenor banjo, um, that, that pick needs to be able to play through the strings or else you'll be leaking into the strings too hard. So again, let's do those 16th notes. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Do 16th note triplets. So that'd be, um, we had a, we'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's going to be. straight on the beat or it could be a triplet feel either way but it's usually when we're getting into the 16th notes you know and up is where you really get that tremolo feel now if we did at this speed we could probably do 30 second notes um, if we were going faster we probably we may not be able to go to up to 30 second notes but 30 second notes so that's it's going to be you know a quarter note is one strum for each click Eighth notes is two strums for each click. Sixteenth notes is four strums for each click. And the thirty-second notes is going to be eight strums for each click. So the sixteenth notes were... We want that twice as fast. That's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now we want one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Oops. Then this is to uh, talk it out. So here we go. One, two, three, four. All right. Now take that into, if I put that into a song like Saints Go Marching In, you can now see one, Two, three, four, one. song we don't want to really use that and I wouldn't use triplets all the way throughout it's a little overly overly dramatic too much flair um, and and the Saints go marching in should be played at a faster tempo but if you're doing a ballad something like sleepy time down south 
I wouldn't use it this much, but just to show you the effect of triplets all the way you know, throughout a lot. Here we go. One, two, three, four. You want to start slow, just get that quarter note going straight down, then you want to move to the next up. Then this is going to help your time as well in all of your playing. Then. Okay? 